Hello students, welcome to Leela's tutorial. So today we will discuss about batch cultures. So why we have to go for batch cultures? In plant biotechnology, if we want to produce secondary metabolites using the plant cells, we make use of batch cultures or continuous cultures. Right? So secondary metabolites or the pharmaceutically active compounds which are produced by the plants not for the sake of growth or reproduction for protection from other organisms. Is that clear? So here these secondary metabolites are having pharmaceutical importance as these are terpenoids, alkaloids, right? And they are so many compounds which are used in preparation of cosmetics, medicines, etc. So let us see. First you are going to select a plant which is having medicinal importance, right? So uh, uh, if you take a eucalyptus, you require the leaves, right? If you have some other medicinal plant which is having uh, medicinal activity in their roots, then you have to select the roots of that particular plant, right? So first it is the selection of the medicinally important plant and then select the explant, whether it is a shoot or the root which is producing the required secondary metabolite, right? So then from that by means of plant tissue culture, you are going to produce a callus. Callus is an unorganized mass of cells. So from these unorganized mass of cells, either disaggregate the callus into single cells or immobilize the cells. So immobilization is nothing but entrapping the cell, right? Entrapping the cell within the calcium alginate gel, okay? So here the gel beads are made up of calcium alginate so it is a gelatinous a bead like structure which gives protection to the cells. Okay. So there will not be any rupture or damage to the cell wall. Okay. Either disaggregated or separated cells or immobilized cells you are going to introduce in the bioreactor. Right. So in the bioreactor when you introduce the cells you can undergo a batch culture process which takes a single stage, otherwise in two stage. If it is occurred in two stage, you call it as fed batch, right? So here, we'll discuss that here later. So after the batch culture process is done, right? So here in the batch culture, what you do? You provide the media required for your plant cells, right? All the nutrients required for the plant cells and maintain the environmental conditions such as pH, temperature, right? And other required substances, right? So here the precursors, everything will be added which will help or enhance the plant cells to produce your required secondary metabolite, okay? So once the secondary metabolite production is done, right? Now you have to collect all the secondary metabolites along with the cells and also with the used up media. Why I am saying used up media? Because all the nutrients present in the media is used up by the cells. Right? So after that you are going to go for the downstream process where you are going to separate the cells, separate the secondary metabolites and send it for purification. So here in the downstream process I am saying you are going to separate the plant cells. So if you are using disaggregated cells in batch culture, these disaggregated cells may get damaged. The cell wall of the cell may get damaged and they may not be used second time, right? So whereas if you are using immobilized cells, as they are protected by the gelatinous substance, right? The gel beads will give protection to the explant and these cells will be and immobilized cells can be reused, okay, in another batch. So, in, uh, let us see the design of the bioreactor. So, here uh, in the bioreactor, you have the different parts. First one is agitator or impeller, which rotates inside. It is for mixing up the media and the cells, so that all the cells will all the cells will get the proper nutrition, right? And then here you have the sparger, sparger for air inlet, sterile air inlet for aeration process. Then here the media inlet, you are going to add the media only up to working level. 
so that the if you are filling up to completely not more than three fourth what happens it will contaminate all the nozzles right in order to avoid that you are filling up to three fourth the working level right then here you have the baffles inside these baffles avoid a vertex formation when vertex will be formed when here you have the agitator or the impeller rotating right here the motor is connected because of which it will be rotating so that it has to mix all the media and the cells right so during that mixing there may be formation of vertex when you swirl glass of water with a spoon there will be formation of vertex in the same way here the cells may get adhered and they may not be involved in culture process so what happens here you have baffles so that they push all the uh, media and the cells inside okay they will not allow them to get collected towards the corners or at the tips okay then you have as it is rotating okay as the secondary metabolites are producing what happens there may be change in ph so you have ph pro so that it will be adding acid or base based on the uh, optimization right then you have the temperature probe as the fermentation or the process uh, continues the temperature may increase right so in order to decrease or maintain the required temperature you have these outside the bioreactor you have the cooling jacket or thermal jacket where the cool air will cool water will be sent sorry cool water will be sent in order to reduce the temperature right so it will not send into the fermenter but over outer surface right so that the excess heat will be absorbed by that cool water and cool water inlet cool water outlet will be there right so till the temperature is maintained then here you have uh, immobilized cells now they are having proper environmental conditions such as temperature ph nutrients everything is there so what is their function now they have to absorb the nutrients from the media right they have to absorb the nutrients from the media and produce secondary metabolites okay so once they use up all the media present or or the all the nutrients present in the media right the nutrition depletion may occur you are giving food to them they have taken up all the food now only the liquid media is present when the nutrition is not there their cell division or cell growth will also stop right that means at that stage when the growth is stopped then they start producing secondary metabolites is that clear so secondary metabolites will be produced right then at this stage there will be certain probes to detect the level of secondary metabolites or the amount of secondary metabolites produced so once it is done they will stop the process and they will collect everything from the outlet that is the secondary metabolites used up media and the immobilized cells right so after that what they do they empty the bio reactor and go for steam sterilization process it is a huge container or the vessel where it cannot be sterilized by other means or other modes so what they do they go for steam sterilization right and again they start again a fresh batch of culture again fresh media will be added and these immobilized cells can be reused right so they will be again added and again another batch of uh, culture will be started is that clear hence it is called as batch culture okay so here you can see the growth curve how the cells are growing and how they are producing the secondary metabolites so in this you can see the y axis it is the number of cells and in x axis it is the time as the time increases now we have added some cells right so that means after adding the cells okay for mean time up to this time this particular time there is no growth or no increase in number of cells the number of cells are stagnant same that means these cells are getting adjusted to the new environment 
or new cultural conditions. Once they get adjusted to this, they start dividing, right? The exponential or the log phase. Lag phase, where they are getting adjusted, there is no increase in number of cells, right? Whereas log phase, there is increase in number and also increase in size of the cell, right? Where, till when they will be increasing See from here, the number of cells have been increased. If suppose if it is 10, they have increased to 100, right? After 100 number of cells, there is no increase. It is stationary or stagnant. The number of cells are same. That means here, the cell division has stopped, but cell development or cell growth is there. Okay, cell is increasing in its size and it will start producing your secondary metabolites. So, secondary metabolites are produced at this stationary phase where there is no cell division but secondary metabolites are produced by completely grown cells. Okay. So, now when there is a complete depletion of the nutrients in the media, then the cells start dying. Okay. The cell or the decline phase is observed. See, you can see the graph is going down. Okay, so here when the stationary phase is going down, at this point, you have to collect the outlet, right? So at this point, you have to stop your batch culture process in order to collect your secondary metabolites and go for purification. Is that clear? This is the growth curve. In case I said, now this is single stage. If I say two stage batch culture, what is that? In two stage batch culture, I may add, see at this stage, so at this stage I have added after secondary metabolite production, what happens? Cells will not produce any, uh, any secondary metabolite. Why? Because of depletion of the media. So in fed batch what I do, I will, I will simply see here, now stationary phase. So at this stage, I don't want the cells to go to decline phase. So what I do, I add intermittently some amount of fresh media. Some amount of fresh media, I'll add intermittently. So again, the cells will grow. Again, stationary phase will be C. So two stage, either you add all the media and go for culture, right? Close all the knobs. Otherwise, intermittently in second stage, you may fed your uh, bioreactor with fresh media, right? So that little bit more secondary metabolites will be produced, okay? If it is uh, not fed batch, you can go for the continuous cultures where continuously you can keep on adding your media and keep on collecting it continuously. Whereas here in fed batch, you are adding intermittently, but here you are not taking out. Okay, you will be adding two to three times, right? After completion of the process only, you are letting it out. Okay, it is a closed time. Is that clear? So, if you have any doubts, put it in comments. And in next class, we will discuss continuous cultures.